And he's finally back. Conor McGregor is actually making his return. There's no date because he is in the USADA pool now. It's going to take like six months or so before he can actually fight. But he is in fact going to fight Michael Chandler. This was the fight that needed to happen. The perfect matchup. And I'm going to be honest, one of the most exciting fights of the year. Two guys that always put on a show. It's always going to be entertaining no matter what kind of fight these two are in. And you could definitely expect the fight to end in a knockout. The weight hasn't been announced either, but you can expect the fight to be at 170 because not only Condor has gained weight, but even Michael Chandler is saying that he did. So both guys are focusing on getting bigger against each other, which means that's most likely going to happen at 170. Chandler came out and said recently that he weighs 190 pounds, and I think Conor probably weighs around the same as well. Maybe Conor weighs even more than that. So we can expect the fight to be at 170, but before they fight, they are going to be coaching the Ultimate Fighter together. So this is going to be Conor McGregor's second time coaching tough. And that's kind of a bummer for Tony Ferguson because Tony's been wanting this fight for a long time and he deserved this kind of money fight. But he did make some questionable decisions and fights that he did take. For example, like the Justin Gaethje fight before, focusing on getting back at the title when he fought Charles Oliveira and Benil Darius and Michael Chandler. After he lost to Justin Gaethje, I think it would have been best for him to focus on the money fights. But instead, he wanted to focus on getting the belt back. Now that it seems like he'll never get that belt, He's focusing on the money fights, and it might be a bit too late at this point, because I don't think Conor wants to fight someone who's on a four-loss streak, you know? So I really feel for Tony Ferguson, man, but I'm super happy for Michael Chandler. This is a guy who's done a lot in his career, and he made all the right moves in the UFC in order to get this kind of fight. If Michael Chandler did not fight the way he is, not trying to get easy wins, not going the easy path of wrestling in all of his fights, if he did not come out there and bang it out with all of his opponents, make every single fight a war, and have some of the best post-fight interviews we've ever seen really bringing the energy to the arena i don't think this counter fight would have ever happened so yes he did risk his chance of victory in all of these fights it ultimately got him the biggest fight in the sport and that's a win in itself the guy knows exactly what he's doing and i expect him to probably do a similar thing when he fights connor I can't wait for this, man. I cannot wait. Win or lose, the way that Chandler's going to fight out there, people are going to remember him. He's going to come out there to try and knock Conor McGregor out, throw that right hand at him all the time, maybe kick out his legs, kick out his body, and put on the pressure against Conor, who also is a good pressure fighter. Conor's going to come at him with the left hand, trying to intercept him with kicks in order to set him up for the left. You're going to see fish hooks. You're going to see knees on the ground, headbutts, grabbing of gloves. I mean, Conor cheated so much against Habib. Chandler cheated so much against Dustin. I'm expecting a war out there, forgetting all the rules. But I really wonder if Chandler's actually going to wrestle because that is his advantage. If he comes out there to take Conor to the ground and try to submit him, land big ground and pound shots and control the fight, I think he should win the fight. I think he should actually be a pretty big favorite to win the fight if that were to happen. But at the same time, there is an incentive for him to stand with Connor and just bang it out. It's high risk, high reward for Chandler to stand with Connor and try to knock him out with his hands. If he approaches it that way, he could get knocked out himself because Connor is the better boxer, he's the better striker, he has the sharper counter punches, and Connor is so much better against orthodox fighters who throw heavy right hands. You saw that when he fought Eddie Alvarez, you saw that when he fought Jose Aldo, you saw that when he fought Ivan Butchinger. Throughout Connor's entire career, Connor is so keen, so precise on countering an orthodox fighter's right straight. And that is Chandler's biggest punch as well. But at the same time, as risky as it is for Chandler to go that direction of just striking with Connor, if he is able to win that, if he becomes a guy who knocks Conor McGregor out cold, he would become an instant superstar. And that is the reward. The risk is he's fighting Connor's game and he might get knocked out. But the reward if he wins is his life changes forever. The safer route is to wrestle which I don't think Connor's going to be able to stop, if I'm going to be honest. Chandler is a very good wrestler. He's extremely strong. And historically, he has better cardio when he wrestles. We've seen this throughout his entire Bellator run. Whenever he wrestles, like in the Benson Henderson fight, he's able to go the whole five rounds. And yes, he does slow down, but not as much as he does when he strikes with you. Because when he's striking, he can't help himself but throw everything he has into every single punch. And he's constantly just gassing himself up. But when he starts wrestling, yes, the takedown takes a lot of energy out of him. But when he controls you and all of that, he's actually not expending that much energy. And that is why this fight is actually pretty hard to predict. Oftentimes, Chandler just doesn't do what he needs to do to win. He does what he needs to do to make an entertaining fight, and sometimes that has him losing. If you look on the betting odds, Connor is actually a minus 153 favorite. He's the favorite going into the fight. 
And I do believe that if Chandler goes out there and strikes with him, but if Chandler goes out there and actually fights smart to win, he should be a big favorite against Connor because his leg kicks will set up some punches and the punches can set up his takedowns. There's a multi layered strategy around his takedowns, and I don't think Connor is going to be ready for that, especially with a layoff. And Connor's not used to fighting with that weight. He's so much bigger than he's ever been before. It's going to be very foreign for him when he's in there in the octagon. And I can only expect his cardio to be shot after one or two rounds. Whereas Chandler, he's getting bigger, but not like that much bigger. He still looks kind of the same. He's always been a very big guy. And that is his natural weight as well. So making an early prediction, I would go and say that Chandler wins the fight. I think because of his toughness, he should be able to get out of the first round. And as soon as he starts getting hurt, I could see him going for takedowns against Connor. And once that happens, I think he should be able to win the fight as Connor starts gassing out. So I would go with Chandler by a second round TKO.